Lewis. So he is well known for his role in the hit TV series Beverly Hills 90210. And today he joins us to talk about why he is helping Moore's Clothing for Men raise awareness in its 10th annual suit drive that runs across Canada until July 31st. Welcome, please, Canadian actor and director Chase Sim. Woo! Hey, guys. Wow. It doesn't get old. Thank doesn't you. Get old. No, I guess, I guess it doesn't, does it? <laughs> no. I was, um, I was just uh, looking at some footage uh, last night. Uh, you know, we're, we're shooting the reboot now in Vancouver, and I, I directed the third episode, so I was watching some footage last night of, uh, of something that we shot last night that was sort of a, uh, a, 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 a redo of that, of the opening credits, oh, wow. that cool. stuff. And it's, it's remarkable how, how much has changed and yet how little has changed yeah. in, in the intervening years since we did that the first time. Can't wait for that reboot. That's in a few weeks. But we want to talk about you're always dressed to impress mm -hmm. and why you chose to lend your celebrity behind the Moore's Clothing Drive and what it is. It was, well, it's uh, the Moore's Suit Drive is, uh, this is the 10th uh, annual Moore's Suit Drive. And in those years, they've, they've, garned, they've, they've uh, gathered a half a million um, uh, pieces of, of, of clothing to donate to people that are re-entering the workforce. Um, I, I I uh, wanted to be a part of this because I think this is the simplest, greatest way for Canadians to give back to other Canadians and give them a hand up. Um, uh, we all have a, a bunch of suits and, and business attire in our wardrobes that need that we, that we would like to update uh, from time to time. I know that I have a closet full of suits all the time, and, and I, I'll look at them and I'll think, well, I know that's maybe getting a little dated, and maybe I want to update that, and I don't know what to do with it. The, and right now, in the month of July, what you can do is take that suit or or, or a piece of women's business attire mm -hmm. down to a Moore's uh, location across Canada, take it in and, and, and donate it to the suit drive, and you get 50% off your next purchase. So you Amazing. can, it's a win win, win for win. everybody, you know, and I, I just, to me, that feels a really uh, a wonderful way to give back. And it, feel, it feels uh, perfectly Canadian because it's, mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a great way, to, it's a great way to, to, to give back and to save money for yourself at the same time. So, as you mentioned, it's a helping hand because people are trying to get back in that workforce, and yeah. it's not always cheap to get no. stuff. So no, it's, 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 it's really not. And I feel like, you know, we, uh, we live in a, in a, in a country where, where so many of us have so much. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's a great way to, to, you know, to sort of reach down and give somebody a hand up. Because uh, as, you, as you know, and you know, you guys d have to dress every morning. And, you know, when you put on a, a nice piece of clothing, it gives you a, a, a good sense of confidence. Yeah. And it, it empowers you, right? Stay like a, like a, yeah, yeah, it makes you, well, yeah. you don't need to stay in the towel. <laughs> yeah, you can, <laughs> we, we do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about this reason. Now, yeah. for fans like myself, I was so interested to see how it would flush out, you know, 19 years later. Yep. So it's sort of, uh, it's an irreverent take on yourselves, loosely playing yourselves or a version of yourselves? Yes. Well, uh, in, y yes and no. Okay. It's, uh, you know, we... Uh, you know, we, you know, we're living in this m magical age of reboots now, where every, it seems like everyone's doing reboots, right? So we wanted to uh, explore uh, uh, the idea of doing a reboot, right? So, so we, we came up with the idea of um, what would it look like if all of us, as, as ourselves, uh, Jason Priestley, Jenny Garth, Ian Ziering, if we all got together and tried to get a reboot made of, of our show in, in this magical age of reboots. So it's, so it's, uh, the show is a, is a scripted, uh, is a scripted reality show of of all of us trying to get this reboot made, but it's it's a, it's a little bit of a peek behind the curtain of Hollywood for people, um, uh, but it's very irreverent, very funny, um, and uh, you know it's uh, you know none of us take ourselves that seriously, so it's a, it's a good way for us to have a lot a lot of fun with with the, with the public perception of what the show uh, was and who we all are and our public personas and. Uh, it's uh, it's been a lot of fun so far. Can't wait. It, weren't you? Did you make an appearance? Speaking oh, of, do you remember that one time we shared a scene back at the original 90210 days? Do you remember that little scene? I was a walk on. Oh, we've got it. Hold on, let's dust it off. Mm -hmm. It's right here. It, it'll it'll jog, it'll jog. Hey. Hi. What was so personal? You can tell me at the theater. Um. Last night I. Uh, Broke up with Tracy. Tracy from City Line? No, no, I um, I did the breaking. Is she okay? I don't know. So do you want to tell me why? <laughs> Ever since um, the other night, I haven't been able to get you out of my mind. Uh oh. Listen, I'm not really comfortable with this now that you kissed my friend. 
So, um, what should we do? I don't know. We could start with lunch. Alone. <laughs> no, with me, Stoops. You okay? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Together alone. Good. We should probably keep this just between us for a while. Oh, so don't put it live on BT? <laughs> so how about tomorrow night? I go to bed at 6.30. Is that? I got a big staff. <laughs> with Tracy? Sorry, that's not fair. Okay, this is awkward. Matinee? Yeah. So I'll meet you at um, Yamashiro at 8. How about tomorrow night? It's a date, but a.m. Turning on with 7. Cool. 7 a.m. on BT. Okay. <laughs> Worst voice acting of my life. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Today. You are Benjamin That was fantastic. Button. Okay, before you go, I'm so embarrassed. I have to ask you. You get Kawhi. You're Canadian, and you live in L.A. That's the best of all worlds. Lakers versus Clippers. Come I, uh, Lakers versus Clippers? Yes. Well, I mean, uh, look. I mean, I know, I know it's great that Kawhi... It has. I mean, it's not great for Toronto. Right. I mean, you know, everyone thinks, that, you know, Kawhi's going to the Clippers. The Clippers are now going to win the championships. I mean, didn't we all do this a few years ago that all of a sudden the Lakers, or the Clippers, were going to become yeah. the. The, 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 I, 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 some, some, you know, some, something, something, <laughs> something, something, something seismic yeah. has to happen for the Clippers to be anything other than an also ran in Los Angeles. You know what yeah. I'm hearing? Let's go Raptors. Thank you, Jason. Yeah, that's what I said. Canadian forever. And if, if anybody wants more information on yes. the more suit drive, go to mosuitdrive.com. What you just said. Go. Breakfast Television. Dante, please come back anytime. And we cannot <laughs> Thanks, wait guys. for the reboot. I will never voice act again. <laughs> Nicole, I thought you were awesome, by the way. Terrible. You were awesome. That was some of your best work. I loved it. Turning 50. The guy's like holding. 29 and holding. Oh, that was terrible. I'm so sorry. It seemed like a good idea at the time. I can't with this. Over like to you, most Nick. Things.